What is up you guys? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Danielle. I am a licensed hairstylist and I do a lot of salon vlogs slash week in my life, hairdresser videos, and just fun videos here and there. So if you haven't subscribed already, make sure to subscribe, but I am back doing another salon vlog slash week in my life. While I do my intro, I need to curl my hair. It's 7.51 and I have to leave at 8.30. But typically my work weeks at the salon are Wednesday through Saturday and I do four eight hour shifts. But today is Tuesday and sometimes on Tuesdays I'll either go in for my friend Ella or my boyfriend's sister. So this Tuesday is for my boyfriend's sister. She just has such a hectic schedule that I don't even bother like booking her just whenever she needs her hair done. I'm like just text me and we can do it that week on a Tuesday. So starting my work week a little bit early but it's honestly fine with me because whenever I go in on a Tuesday for someone I just go in for them. Like I won't take anyone else. So it's a very quick and easy day. Also guys, I wanted to ask you, so I saw someone else do this where they film like a full entire week in their life including their days off to show you guys like what they do on their days off. I don't know if you'd be interested in that because typically I just film my work week and show you guys like all the hair that I do and stuff like that. But if you guys are interested, let me know and I can do a full week including my days off. Yeah, I'm super excited for this week. I have a ton of highlights and colors, which is like what I love to film for you guys. Just because it's a longer process and I feel like it's a better transformation. Although I do like to put a quick disclaimer. I haven't been putting disclaimers in my other salon vlogs. But I don't always show every single client that I have during the week. That being it's either a haircut, a blowout, stuff like that. That's just really not... <laughs> intriguing you know what I mean like I'll talk about it and show pictures but I won't like film the process if that makes sense but this week is gonna be so much better because I have all of my returning highlights and colors so I know they won't care if I film them and they all have like amazing hair and I love doing their hair so also I'm not sure if I've ever done a video of me like curling my hair recently when I was blonde I know I posted one but now that my hair is shorter I've been using my one inch babyless Marcel so Marcel's are a little bit different they're a little trickier to use but once you get the hang of it it's so fast so easy and I like the way the curls look because my hair is a little bit shorter. But I'm also so excited because yesterday I bought the 1 and 1 fourth inch babyless curling iron. And I'm so freaking excited because I've been trying to find... It's sitting on my bed. But I've been trying to find this freaking curling iron and it's been nowhere and salon centric finally had it in stock so i bought it yesterday i tried one of the hot tools ones but i just i didn't like it i don't like the material of the wand like that it's metal i like the babyless ones because they're more like of that ceramic material so they leave your curls nice and smooth and shiny so i'm excited for my clients to get good curls. But yeah, so I'm just going to finish up curling my hair. I probably won't talk to you guys until I get to the salon and start doing my boyfriend's sister's hair. So I'll talk to you guys when I get to the salon. So this is my client's hair before and our ultimate goal was to touch up her grays and then give her some dimension without making it too blonde. So keeping it more like on the brunette side 
and then we gave her the cutest bob haircut ever so stay tuned for that so when it comes to applying a root color and doing highlights i love starting off with doing the root just so that i can sure that i'm 100 percent covering those grays so i already sectioned her hair into four quadrants it's just so much easier that way and then I'm just taking horizontal sections. And for her root color, I'm using 5NN from the Redken Chromatics line with 20 volume and only applying this to the area of regrowth. So now for the highlight portion, I sectioned off her mohawk section and the two sides because we were only doing a partial. And I did only TZ lights. I alternated sliced TZ lights and weaved TZ lights for that extra dimension. And I'm also using Redken Flash Lift for my lightener. And for the mohawk section, I used 20 volume and for the sides, I used 30 just so that everything would lift at the exact same time. And then once she finished processing, I finished her off with a toner of Redken Shades EQ 7N, 8N, 7NB, and 7V. All equal parts and mixed with the processing solution. And then of course, I finished off with the cut and style with some waves. And it came out so freaking good. She was so happy. I was so happy. The cut and color just looks stunning on her, and it was amazing. All right, you guys, so I'm done with Carissa's hair. As you saw, it came out so good. I'm so happy we cut it. She's been literally talking about getting a bob again for the past, like, four or five appointments that we've done. So we finally did it, and I loved the color just for, like, the end of summer, but in the winter slash end of fall, she wants to go, like, really really dark so that will probably be our last highlighting service but it came out so good i loved it and now i'm at pink bean just to get some lunch it's 1 30. i ordered at like 1 20 and they said 20 minutes but i'm just gonna go in a little bit early it's fine but yeah, so I have nothing else for the rest of the day. I'm just going to get my lunch, go home, chill out. And also I just wanted to mention that I tried out that new curling iron, the Babyless 1 and a 4th, and I absolutely loved it. I knew I would. It's like the perfect size for those beautiful beachy waves. So if you guys are looking into getting a new curling iron, definitely get that one. It's amazing. Oh, and also my boyfriend dropped me and his sister off starbucks while we were doing her hair so shout out to you timmy love you but yeah so i'm a little bit bummed because one of my favorite clients canceled for tomorrow so i have such a big gap in the morning i did write on my instagram post like that i have a cancellation so we'll see if anyone books if not we do have a wait list for the salon and i'm pretty sure i have like three people on the wait list for a highlight so when i get home i'll check and see if any of them can come in but for now i have a huge gap so we'll see what tomorrow brings but i will talk to you guys tomorrow good morning so it's the next day it's wednesday and it is 8 24 i have to be at the salon at 9 so i usually leave like 30 minutes before but as I told you guys yesterday one of my clients canceled in the morning I unfortunately wasn't able to fill it with another highlight but I filled it with two haircuts so I still have like an hour or so before my highlight client that I have this afternoon so I'll try to show the haircuts like before and after but I definitely will show you guys my highlight and color for this afternoon but yeah it's gonna be a very easy day not complaining but yeah so I will talk to you guys when I get to the salon so my first client was in for a haircut and she had so much hair but she wanted to do a big chop 
and she was kind of going for like an A-line lob sort of deal, which is basically just shorter in the back and a little bit longer in the front. So this is how it ended up turning out. It looked so good on her. She absolutely loved it. It made her hair feel so much better, so much lighter, and we were both very happy with it. So this was my next client. She was actually originally in for just a haircut, but I talked her into getting a glaze as well, just because she had used box dye after getting a balayage, so some light pieces were coming through, and she kind of just wanted to go back to her original color, which was like her natural level 4 hair. So I ended up doing a glaze of Redken Shades EQ, 3NB, and 5N. And this is how it turned out. It came out so good. It looks so much richer, so much healthier, so much shinier, and we both loved it. And then for my last client of the day was my color full highlight and haircut. So this was her hair before. She has come to me in the past for root cover-ups and also highlights. But this time around, she wanted to go even blonder and cut a cute little bob. So I started off first by applying her root color, which I already did, but I didn't want to show it because it's pretty easy and self-explanatory. But I used 7NN from the Redken Chromatics line to do her roots. And then I'm going in with the Redken Flash Lift Lightener, starting off with 10 volume and working my way up to 30. So I always start in the back just because, like I say all the time, God forbid the back lifts more than the front. You can easily take them to the sink, take the back foils out, rinse them, and then just let them sit with the front foils on a little bit longer. So that's a quick little tip. But yes, so here I'm taking alternating weaves and slices, and I'm trying really hard not to to touch the lightener to the root, but nobody's perfect, we aren't magicians, sometimes it happens, but typically when the lightener hits the root color, it just gets a little bit warmer than the rest of the hair, which did happen just in a few spots, so I ended up doing a root smudge later on in this process, but yeah, so again, just going in, doing weaves, and then slices and alternating that process all the way up until the top. And then I did the same exact thing on the sides. So then once everything finished processing, I brought her to the sink, I rinsed everything out, shampooed her with the Olaplex shampoo, and then like I said, I had a little tiny bit of warmth at the root, so I went in with 6NA and 6N from Redken Shades EQ for the root smudge, and I used 9N and 9P for the glaze, and this is how it turned out, it came out so good. She was absolutely in love with it, and so was I. And this cut, like, come on now. All right, you guys, so I'm back home from work, and I immediately changed out of my clothes. It is literally <laughs> the best feeling ever to just get out of your work clothes and put on a big baggy t-shirt, take off your bra, like, just, <laughs> you know, you know. So yeah, I'm so much more comfy. Typically after work, I take a shower, 
but I'm starving. I need food, so I'm gonna make dinner and then shower after, but yeah. Anyways, today was a good day. I showed you guys my two clients this morning, and then before my color client, I actually got booked a last minute shampoo and blowout, so I did that, but I didn't end up showing it because she came a little late and I was rushing, so I didn't have time to take like before and after pictures, but nothing crazy. But yeah, I loved how my last client's hair turned out. It was so cute and it was just like meant for her. That cut and color, like it just looked so good on her. So I was very happy with how that turned out. But yeah, for the rest of the night, I'm just gonna chill like I always do. Tomorrow is Thursday, which is my late day, so I don't go in until 12. So I might film what I do in the morning. Maybe not. We'll see. But I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Hey, you guys. So it's Thursday. I am so tired today. I don't know what it is. Um, I think it's because my cat woke me up like <laughs> three times in the middle of the night and it's also such crappy weather today it's downpouring and cloudy and dark so that always makes me tired but i just went to starbucks with my friend alexa and i got my venti iced chai tea latte I'm not a huge coffee person but i love teas and stuff like that so got that for the day but like i mentioned yesterday thursdays i don't go in until 12 and i work until 8 so <laughs> it's like my least favorite day honestly just because working till 8 makes you so tired but for my schedule today i have a lot of like haircuts and blowouts in the beginning of my day and then i have one of my favorite highlight clients coming in and then another blowout to end my day. So I'll probably just film my highlight depending on how the haircuts and stuff go because like I said, I don't really like to just film a blowout or film a haircut, but I can't wait for my highlight. She just is one of those clients that has such great hair and she's already blonde. Her natural hair color is like already light it's probably a seven or an eight so it always lifts so good so i can't wait for that but yeah it's 10 38 i have to leave at 11 30 so i'll probably just watch a few youtube videos and then start to get ready so i will talk to you guys later so here we have one of my favorite highlight clients ever she last came to me in May, I believe, so this is her three-month regrowth, and she gets very fine baby lights. Usually I do a full, but today she was only in for a partial and a trim, so we focused it mainly on the front and, like, the top crown section in the back. So here I am just starting in the front. I already did the left side, but now I'm working on the right. So like I said, I just do very fine baby lights to give her the most coverage and to make her as blonde as possible. A few tips for baby lighting is number one, always keep good tension between the hair and the foils. You don't want those foils slipping, especially around the front hairline. The hair is a lot finer and thinner, so it can slip a lot easier and you don't want to create any harsh lines or cheetah spots as we call them. The second tip is that with blondes like this, you never want to overlap what's already lightened because you don't want to create more damage and those pieces at the bottom are already so light that if you put even more lightener on them, they're just going to overprocess, they're going to turn gummy, and they're just not going to be healthy. So when it comes to baby lighting, I really just touch up the regrowth and maybe drag it down just a tad. And then my third tip, which honestly doesn't even have to be for baby lighting, just highlighting in general, always start with a lower developer and work your way up to a higher one because if you start with 10 and end with 30, everything is going to lift at the exact same time as opposed to just using 20 on the whole head. If I did do that, the left side would be done already and the back would probably have to sit for like 20 to 30 more minutes. So I always recommend starting with 10 and working your way up.
Now moving on to the toning process. I am not doing a root melt or a root smudge, but I really just wanted to do a tiny little root tap just to blur any lines and to also create a seamless grow out for when her natural hair starts to come in. So we actually didn't have any 7N from the Redken Shades EQ, but no worries because I made it myself. I just mixed equal parts 6N and 8N and then added the processing solution to that as well. toner I used Redken Shades EQ 9N, 9P, and a cap full of 9AA and I've been loving using a tiny bit of 9AA just neutralizes everything and gives it that extra pop so this is how it ended up turning out this was the front and this was the back we were both in love and so happy all right guys so I'm back home from work it's like 8 so, yeah, it's almost 8.30. I don't even know what happened today, honestly. <laughs> today was so weird. Just, I think the weather made me off. Like, my schedule today got all messed up. There was, like, nobody at the salon. It was dead. It was just, like, a weird day. But I really didn't show anything other than my highlight because that's how messed up today got. So I went in, did my haircut, and she really only got a trim, so it was nothing crazy. Then I was supposed to have a kid's cut. She didn't show up. Then I was supposed to have a hair consult, but she actually wanted a haircut. So she booked a hair consult by accident, meaning to book a haircut. And I had a client right after her, so I didn't have time to do it because a hair consult is only like a 15 minute thing. You just come in, talk about what you want to do with your hair, and if I say, yes, let's do it, we reschedule. But she sat down and was like, so I'm thinking of just getting like a trim and some layers, and I was like, um, you wanted to consult for that? And she's like, what do you mean? <laughs> and I was like, oh my god, like, did you think you had a haircut appointment? And she was like, yeah. So that happened, but thankfully another stylist was able to take her. And then I had a blowout, and she ran late, so it made me late. So I was like, I don't know, I don't even know what's happening. <laughs> so then I had my highlight client. It went so good like you saw and then I was supposed to have a blowout at the end of the day but she ended up booking for tomorrow instead so literally today was just crazy like a mess I don't even know but it's fine because tomorrow is gonna be a new day and it's gonna be a good day but yes I'm exhausted so I'm gonna take my makeup off and go right into bed and go to sleep. But I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Happy Friday. So I only have a few minutes before I have to go into the salon. So really quickly, I just wanted to say I have a very busy day. I have a men's haircut, a full highlight and haircut, a color and haircut, and then I'm actually double booked with my color and haircut. So while her root color is sitting on, I have to take a blowout and then Obviously, once the blowout's done, I'll rinse her and do the haircut and stuff. But yeah, so I probably won't show the men's cut or the blowout, but I'll definitely show the two colors that I have. It's actually a daughter and a mom, so the daughter's getting a full highlight, and she's another one of my favorite highlights to do, but she just has like so much freaking hair, so it takes a little bit, but then the mom's doing the root color and haircut, so yeah. It's gonna be a good day, <laughs> but it's almost nine o'clock, so I have to head in. So I'll talk to you guys later. So my men's haircut actually turned into a woman's haircut because she called last minute 
to see if we had an opening. So someone else got the men's haircut and I got the women's haircut. So this was her hair before. It was so long. And this is the after. Look how cute she is. We did a cute little bob with some face framing and it looks so cute on her. So now for my highlight client. She is another one of my favorite highlights to do. She just has so much hair and it always looks so good in the end. But this is her hair before. She came to me back in April, so it's been quite a while. She has quite a bit of regrowth. So our ultimate goal is to just make her a lot more blonde and to add some of those money pieces in there. So I already did the back, so now moving on to the front. I did a full head of teasy lights, but I didn't tease the hair too, too much because I didn't want to create too much dimension since she wanted to be a lot more blonde. And I'm really only touching up the regrowth area, leaving what's already really blonde out so that nothing gets over-processed. And I'm just feathering the lightener up for that seamless blend. <music> For the toning process, I use Redken Shades EQ 7N for her root smudge, and for her glaze, I used 9N, 9P, and a little bit of 9GI. And this is how it ended up turning out. Like, can we just appreciate how stunning she is? I had to take a picture of the front because it's just amazing, but this is the picture of the back, also so beautiful. We were both so happy and it just looks so good. All right, you guys, so I'm back home. I promise I'm not naked. I have a towel on, just took a shower. And then I also just put a bunch of dry shampoo in my hair because my hair was nasty. Like, I, it's just my forehead. My forehead gets so oily, and I had my hair in like a claw clip today, so this one piece right here was like, perfectly in line with my forehead and it was just so nasty like I get so oily it's so bad but yeah so it's now six o'clock I'm back home today it was a really good day and I didn't show you guys like me doing my last client for the color because it was just a root retouch and a haircut nothing crazy but yeah today was a good day I'm in like such a weird mood right now. I don't know why. But yeah, I have one more day of my work week tomorrow and I'm so excited. I think I have like two haircuts, a highlight, and two blowouts. So we'll see if that changes or stays the same. But I gotta go because my boyfriend's picking me up. We're gonna hang out and go get food. So I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Good morning. It is the next day, last day of my work week. But I have to hurry again because it's almost 8 o'clock and I have a client right at 8. So I just wanted to say good morning and I'll talk to you guys later. So my first client went well. It was just a haircut, just a trim. But now moving on to my color client. This was her hair before. She got a blonde balayage quite a long time ago and she just didn't like how blonde it was. She wanted to go back to her natural color kind of like a sun-kissed brunette. So instead of doing highlights, I went in and did a full head of low lights. And the low light formula that I used is Redken Shades EQ equal parts 6N and 7NB. I was a little hesitant on using a 6N, but because of how blonde those ends are, I knew that if I just used a 7, it would appear as an eight because the ends of her hair were at least a level nine. So I wanted to add a little bit of the six in there, but also add some of the seven NB. And all I'm doing here is taking small sections, weaving them, 
and instead of applying lightener like I would with a highlight, I'm just applying a low light. And then whatever hair is being left out in between the foils is going to be treated as my dimensional like highlighted part. So whatever is being left out, I'm going to tone with like an 8 because since her ends are a 9, we want to tone it a little bit darker so it's not too blonde but we also don't want to tone it the same as the low light because then there would be no dimension. So you'll see that in a bit. everything processed for 25 minutes I rinsed her shampooed her and then toned the remaining hair with 8N and 8GI from Redken Shades EQ and this is how it ended up turning out it was so beautiful it was exactly what she wanted and she was so happy with it hey you guys so I'm back home from work it is 4 30 and I didn't show you guys everyone I took today I actually showed you just my color client but basically to break down my schedule today I had a haircut at 8 a.m. it was just a trim and my color that you saw it came out so good I was so happy with it and so was she and then I had two blowouts because I think there were like six girls. They were all going to a wedding, so they all came to the salon to like get a blowout and curls and stuff. So I had two of those, and then I had another haircut. And she was so sweet. She is going to be having a baby soon, like a few weeks. <laughs> so she just wanted to like chop quite a bit off, but not have like a bob. I think it was a little bit shorter than my hair but she had a lot of it but yeah so that was my day but I'm gonna be ending this video off here because this is the end of my work week I really hope you guys enjoyed if you did don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe we are so close to 9,000 and 10,000 like what I cannot wait to hit 10,000 subscribers that's gonna be amazing but yeah again thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye guys